Hey guys, I just wanted to take that video that we captured on Sunday and create a very quick tutorial on uh, using these programs to make a video. All right, so what we're looking at right now, this program is called Adobe Premiere Pro. This is your essential video editing software. It's where you're gonna bring all your footage, all your raw footage, all the footage with effects on it, and uh, compile it into a sequence. This program is all about creating sequences. You create a sequence and then you can compile sequences into a full film. So right here, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Um, this is your bin, and this is where you bring in all of your raw footage, all your all the audio that you captured, all the video that you captured. You keep that here. You can double click on this, it'll automatically open up your files, and you can bring in footage to use in your sequence. So if you want to edit each uh, clip, you can bring it up here to the clip editor. Now let's just say I don't want this whole thing. I just want the end right here. So I'm just gonna take the end here and I'm gonna put a bracket around that and a bracket around that. Okay, so now I can take this and bring this down here to the, the sequence editor. Okay, so this is where you keep your sequences. Now I've already done some editing here to get rid of the, the 37 minutes of video that I captured. And as you can see, I've got it down to about two minutes and 24 seconds. Down here, if you don't feel like the, the cut you made was good enough, there's cut tools. This is the little uh, razor tool. You can see all the little cuts that I've made. And here you can delete things and you can bring everything together so that you, you're you pretty much just lining up your sequences one after another. Let's do, undo that. Here I go over some lighting techniques. Uh, I'm going to leave that all to you to kind of figure out. Uh, pretty much just crack open a photography book and you'll learn about all those different lighting techniques. Next, I wanna take you into uh, After Effects where we can get rid of the green screen. And my first hurdle is I've got a bunch of these little teeny little clips and I could take all these teeny little clips into After Effects one by one, but that would be a horrible, terrible, stupid waste of time. So what I want is I want to fuse everything together to make one mega clip. But how do I do that? Well, you can select them all and you can fuse them together. I don't wanna do that because I want to be able to pr uh, preserve my ability to edit these in case I want to make an edit later. So what I like to do is come up here, go to new, make a brand new sequence in the resolution that we're working in. And as you can see, there's a new tab here for the new sequence, okay? When you create a new sequence, it automatically gets compiled, deposited right here in your bin. So as you can see right here, we've got sequence three. That's what we're looking at. Sequence three is where I compiled all my, my footage. So I'm gonna just click and drag sequence three over here and look at that. It is all fused into one. So from here, um, I can make edits to, uh, globally to the entire piece. So we're gonna work in After Effects. Adobe does this great thing where you can right click and go straight into the program that you need to use. You can do the same thing with the audio. You can go straight into uh, Adobe Audition to adjust the audio. But right now we're gonna go into After Effects. So I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna click replace with After Effects composition. So I right click on that. And as you see, it'll automatically start to open up After Effects. Here we are, After Effects is now open. It's gonna ask me what I want to save this project as. I'm gonna save it as AV Club. And here we go. It brought in the sequence here and automatically opened up a composition. So just like sequences are the main thing that you're creating in Premiere, compositions are the main thing that you're making in After Effects. So down here, we've got kind of a similar looking panel. Or the more compositions I'm making, the more they'll pile up as tabs. Now I want to get rid of the green screen and adjust the lighting and everything uh, in the scene here. After Effects is the program that you would use to do that, as well as add a variety of all sorts of fantastic effects. I'm not gonna talk about those. This time we're just gonna be talking about the green screen. I want to apply the effect that gets rid of this green screen and uh, there's several effects to do that, but the one that we're gonna use right now is called key light. So I'm gonna go into the effects panel and type in key light so I don't have to go looking for it. And I can just click and drag and bring that onto the footage. In my current effects panel, it'll show me that the key light is here ready to be used. So in order to use the key light, I need to grab this little dropper tool and I need to tell the program what the color is that I want it to remove from the footage. So we wanna get rid of this nice green color. So I'm gonna look for a kind of a very medium color and I'm going to click that and the program will automatically remove anything that is green in that shade 
and get rid of it. Now you can see there's a little bit of darkness over here. That's because when we captured it, there was a little bit of shadows going on. Uh, and also there's a little bit of static in here. You can't quite see it, but I'll show you how you can look at it. If you go to final result and you switch that to screen mask, it'll show the white area and the dark area. The dark area is where we're masking stuff out and the white area is the stuff that we're trying to reveal. So I want this black to be blacker and this white to be whiter. <clears throat> so I can come in here to the screen mat and there's these two black and white sliders and I can slide this up and as you see, it makes that black very black. And then I can slide this and make this very white. If we go back to the final result, as we can see, it's much cleaner. We still have this though. So to get rid of that, I'm going to apply a mask using this pen tool and voila, goodbye. This mask is going to only show the stuff that's within the mask and everything outside the mask, it will remove. Okay. All right. So now that I've applied that, I want to add a background. So I click on my project tab. I can open this up and I, I found a picture of a restaurant. So I'm going to bring this restaurant in. Just double click on that and that'll be compiled here. This is similar to the bin that you would be using in Premiere. I'm going to drag that and put it below uh, our sequence. Let's make sure that we make that the same exact size. And there we go. We've got a background in the sequence. Now, the green screen is successful. We've got her kind of cut out into the restaurant scene, but she is lit differently than the restaurant. Uh, so it looks like she's in front of a green screen. So there's a couple of uh, techniques that you should look up about how to make green screens look less like a green screen. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna do a very quick, cheap effect. I'm gonna copy the restaurant and I'm going to, I'm gonna paste it over the top of her. And then I'm gonna take that restaurant image and I'm gonna apply a Gaussian blur to that. And you can see that the effect is here. And I'm going to blur the heck out of that image. And then I'm gonna take this image Right here, we've got blending modes. I'm going to use a soft light. And as you can see, some of that color is now coming into the top layer and coloring the layer below. It's a little too harsh for me, so I'm going to turn down the opacity. And there we go. Another thing happened, which is pretty good actually to show you guys, we found out that she was wearing a green sweater. So the key light is going to remove anything that's green in the scene. So if she's wearing a green sweater, it's going to reveal what's below because the computer is going to delete that green color. Uh, the, the quick little dirty little trick to get rid of that is to copy this uh, sequence and paste it over the top. Now, now we have the exact same sequence, one on top of the other. In this sequence, however, I'm going to get rid of the key light and I'm going to get rid of the masks and I'm going to make a new mask where I, all I do is mask out her sweater. All right. So now, We've just got the masked sweater over the top and uh, the, the plain footage playing below it. I'm going to hide this. See? And then if I, if I turn that on, you can see that this is translucent. And if I turn on the footage that was masked over it, the green sweater is back. So now when she reveals her green sweater, it does not shine through. Okay? All right, so the final thing I want to talk about here, you see this green line right here? This is telling me that this information is being loaded into Premiere as we speak. So if I keep playing this, this information will be compiled and sent to Premiere uh, real time. So I go back here, I click on this sequence that's being compiled, and you can see it's already been replaced. I haven't done anything. So if I want to, uh, now that I'm happy with this, I'd watch the whole video and say, okay, I like this. I think everything looks good. Um, then I want to turn this into a video to show you guys. Well, before I do that, I have to render these effects. So the way you would do that uh, without leaving Adobe Premiere is to go to sequence and then click on this render effects in to out. I click on that and it'll start to render those effects from After Effects. And once it's done, um, we will be able to save this footage as a clip uh, and eventually show you guys. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, this uh, red strip is now green. And that means that this entire clip has been rendered from After Effects. 
Right now it's just a project, so we want to uh, we want to reduce all this into one thing, so that we can upload it to YouTube. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, click on the sequence that I want to render. You can see that there's this yellow line going around the sequence. I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Export, Export Media, and then you can see it represented here. And then right here, the output name is going to uh, say what the sequence is called. You want to make sure that you're labeling your sequences. AV Club. I'm going to save this on the desktop. Okay, so now that that's changed, I want to make sure that I'm using this format. So this there's a bunch of different codecs, but I recommend you use the H264 codec. The next thing you should do is see this preset here. There's a lot of fun little functions and um, buttons and switches and knobs that you can pick here. Uh, and it's very complicated and requires quite a bit of knowledge to be able to successfully switch them around without completely uh, making a making a video that's way too big or that doesn't work at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a custom preset that automatically switches all those things for you. And the best thing to use is the YouTube preset, which is way down here. All right, so see, we've got the YouTube preset here. 29.97, uh, that's the frame rate. Um, and we want to use the 720p. So now that it is all set up and ready to go, I'm going to click export. And uh, there you go. Once that's done, you have a video. Good luck on that, guys, and I'll see you on the other end.